In Jeremiah chapter 15, we have this ongoing, well, judgment call from the Lord. He's going to deal with Israel. He's tired of their sins. He's tired of their constant falling away. And, and look what he says. He, this is how he's going to send sort of a four-part destruction on Israel. Listen to what it says. I will appoint over them four forms of destruction, says the Lord. The sword to slay, the dogs that will eat them. It says the birds of the heavens and the beasts of the earth to devour and destroy. God says, look, I, I'm tired of it. I'm just going to destroy you guys. I'm going to come after you and I'm going to use the beasts. I'm going to use the dogs. I'm going to use the sword. I, I'm going to use whatever it takes. And Jeremiah continues to plead for the people of Israel, even, even for his own safety. And there's this famous passage in chapter 15, and I, and I hope you'll just read through the chapter. It says, your words were found and I ate them. And your word was to me the joy and the rejoicing of my heart. For I am called by your name, O Lord God of hosts. Jeremiah is crying out for, well, for Israel, but also for his own self. And he says, Lord, I, I took your word and I, I took it into my very heart, into my very being, as if I ate them, and it was to me the joy and rejoicing of my heart. You know, you might not feel like you're under God's judgment or that you deserve his punishment, but what a great passage of scripture for us that we should take God's word and take it like food and daily feed upon it. So today, get alone with the Lord, take his word and recognize that it produces within you rejoicing and joy and you realize that you're called by his name. Jeremiah, in the midst of a very, very difficult, hard situation where Israel is going to be judged for their sins, calls upon the Lord, takes his word into his life, and instead of feeling down, instead of feeling depressed, he finds joy, he finds rejoicing, and recognizes again that God, I'm called by your name. What a great thing for us to remember that we find our joy and rejoicing in who we are through God's word, and we can do this over and over and over again. We have the word of God that we can take, kind of like eat, like food, and it produces amazing results in our life.